Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, video on uh, associate memories. I will be discussing on associate memories, how the match logic would be there, read and write logics would be there, uh, that would be discussed in this uh, video. What are the expressions for uh, read and write uh, match logic, how this is expressions on inform and how an associate memory would be read up, that is would be done. So these are the videos under the course of digital design for the fourth semester students of uh, electronics and communication engineering. The objective of this lecture would be helping the students to have gain knowledge in associate memories and then we will be understanding what is a match logic, how the ma match has been formed and uh, what is the read and write logics that would be discussed in this part. So, a typical associate memory would be shown over here like this way. Coming to the associate memory, you would be having a few things over here. The first one is a argument register. This is the register where the actual defined word would be there, and this is the key register. So, this is the value which you are going to search in the memory. So, it will search in the memory and according to that one, whatever the probable matches are there to this argument register, it could be displayed in the match register. So, here there would be a uh, memory. So, the memory would be like usual, you will be having the same memory. The operation would be different in the associate memory. The memory would be like uh, the same thing you will be having, you will be having the input uh, address lines, okay. input lines would be there, you would be having read and write logic and uh, according to that one how the bits have been sent you would be getting the output. That is the same thing for any uh, memory, but here the change would be uh, when you go for the match register, so here there would be three additional registers over here. One is an argument register, second one is an a key register, third one is a match register. So, first of all, when you go for the argument register, in the argument register, I will be giving one word which is to be searched in the memory. Then, key register would be just uh, out of the total word, what are the particular bits that has to be, that should be same with the argument register that is being given in the key register and uh, whatever the co corresponding words are been matching that is given in the match register. So, out of those words you can read it up in the memory. So, coming to this one, uh, example of this um, associate memory is given over here which would be making you very much clear. So, this is my word which is going to be searched in the memory. What is that word? 101, 4 ones, then 00. zero. Okay. This one word which is going to be uh, I want to search into the memory. Now going to the key register. So the key register is provided with three ones over here, then zeros. So the key is nothing but 111, one, one, which is the, these positions. Wherever the one is there, that particular bits of this argument register should match with the words in the memory. That should be the most important thing. Suppose my key register is like this way. My key register is like this way. I have given the key register like uh, 101100000. I have given the something like this way. So, here when I give this one, here the this position should be same, then not what this one, this is not uh, important, this position should be same, this position should be same, then the my word should be like this way, here, both would be no match or found over here, no match found, why, so here uh, this location should be one, this location should be 1, this location should be 1. Remaining bits are does not require anything over there. So, whatever the 1s and zeros are there, that would be. Suppose my key register is being given like this way, instead of that one, 000, 
zero zero one 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 okay. find uh, how many four three three six seven nine bits three six okay this is zero so this is my key register now here these three bits are there so what is this three bits one zero 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 now it will be getting a match over here one zero zero a match would be equal to one so this is about the how the associate memories will take in infrastructure first is argument register it will check the argument register whatever the value in argument that has to be matched into the memory so memory would be having different words one after the other words yeah you would be having the match register so this argument value is been kept with the key register so wherever the key register values are one one you may have three ones, four ones, or all ones. You want to fix it up. It's your wish. So, how many bits has to be similar with the uh, argument register? That has to be defined in the key register. And the locations where it should be similar, that has to be defined by the key register. So, once you define that one, it will check the words in this one. If it is match is found, it will give it as one. If no match is there, zeros. So, here, what I want to tell you is that how many bits are there in the match register. So the number of bits in the match register is equal to number of words in the memory. Because each memory, each word will give you to either 0 or 1 value. So the match register is equal to the number of words in the uh, memory. And when you go for the uh, argument register and the key register, argument register value and the key register value would be the same. Now, what is the size of this argument register and the key register? This is also relating to the memory. So, in your memory, number of words is equal to number of bits in a match register. Now, the word length, if it is a 8 bit length or 16 bit length or 20 bit length, whatever the word bit length is there, the size of the word is equal to the size of the match register, sorry, argument register, size of the Key register. key register and argument register would be the same size as the word length of this one. So here it is how many bits? 9 bits, 9 bit word length. So here 9 bit word length means you would be having argument register and the key register which is equal to 9 bits. The same thing has been shown over here in the form of this one to get an uh, expressions for this one m words n cells per word so here n cells n cells in the sense n bit word word length is what n bit in the memory how many words are there m words are there so m words means what would be the match register match register would be the size of what m and here i have started with a of a till n because the word length is what n so this is our argument register which is uh, a1, A2 proceeds this, AJ, and last one would be AN. Similarly, the key register would be of the same size, K1 to KN. And these are the uh, words over here, which are present with C. It would be in the memory. And last one over here, the match logic has been shown over here. So, what do you be getting over here? Each, uh, each cell, and to say, this one, if you take it up of one cell over here, how the cell would be there, how it would be processed, we would be seeing here. So, the cell, each cell, you would be having similar like an uh, RS register, I mean to say RS flip-flops like thing. So, here, you would be having one match logic. This is your match logic. Match logic would be equal to F of IJ. What is f of ij over here? Is a function. So, first of all, uh, the equality of two bits can be expressed logically by the Boolean function where x of j is equal to 1. So, if at all uh, input is there, if you want to read an input, write or read operation, whatever is there, output would be displayed over here. Now, coming to this one. So, match is equal to 1 or not that is been given by this A and K. 
So this x of j given over here x of j is equal to a j f of i j a j f of i j it should be the same argument minus a prime a prime f of f prime i j so that would be excluded in the k bit that would be the match logic and uh, match register would be equal to x1 x2 x3 on all so on so the same uh, match bit uh, which is been for a uh, total complete cell xj plus kj complement is equal to xj1 uh, it would be equal to x of j if the um, previous word is the same over here or it would be equal to 1 so this is uh, the x of j and these would be your uh, lecture level problems the first one is that illustrate the hardware organization of associative memory illustrate match read and write logics in associative memory with the help of example thank you for watching this video next video and a more detailed description would be given if you want to have an, a detailed description you can refer to the computer architecture textbook by morris manner thank you for watching this video the next video we will be discussing on uh, other one which is uh, cache memory thank you